woodwinds. For many composers who, like you and me, are more comfortable with their keyboards, they represent a bit of unknown territory. In this video, we'll look together at just how rich this section is and how you can get the most out of your woodwinds. Hello my friends and welcome back on VSL's YouTube channel, Vincent here. I hope you're doing great and that you're excited for, well, you know already. Vienna Symphonic Library's Woodwind Festival is the perfect opportunity to complete your orchestral palette with special pricing on the entire VSL Woodwind catalog. You know me since all this time. Whenever there's a special offer or a new product, I grab it and I write a demo. And for this one, I've used all the instruments that are on sale to introduce them to you and show you a bit of the choice and possibilities you have if you're not familiar with all of these products. But before I start, I'd like to say a special thank you to Monsieur Bernard Retif, my teacher at the conservatory, but also a composer, bassoonist and singer who taught me everything I know about DAWs, sample libraries and modern music production and who gave me some guidelines for writing the script. D'ailleurs, pour les francophones qui nous regardent, il a fait un site super chouette rempli de tutoriels gratuits sur comment utiliser Cubase. C'est super complet et vous trouverez le lien dans la description. Enough talk. Let's go. I'm gonna start by showing the woodwinds in the context of chamber music. I've boosted the close microphone, lowered the mid ones a bit, and muted the main C outright, and retouching the stereo field of each section here in Vienna Ensemble Pro. The first thing to bear in mind when writing for woodwinds is the importance of breathing and tonguing. In real life, woodwind players don't always play legato. Adding little stops and changes of articulation will bring a lot of realism to your arrangement. Let's start with the three flutes, two normal flutes and one alto flute. So in terms of harmony, this song is in B major. If you build a triad of every note of the scale, you got the grades. And so on and so forth. Precisely the fourth one, normally in B major, is supposed to be major. E major, as you can see. But I'm starting this piece with E minor. Like the minored fourth grade of the scale is something extremely common in the romantic music. So I will do this. And then I will go back to the first grade, but as you can see with the first inversion, not the root position. It sounds a bit too bold for me. And with the flute, the harp, the arrangement and everything, it will more or less look and sound like this. Let's add a little harp, bell tree and high strings to add a bit of magic to the mix. Let's bring in the melody. And this is where we use the oboe and take advantage of the new articulations for synchron woodwinds, the lyrical legato. This melody is part of the new music I've written for Fritz Lang's Metropolis in collaboration with Pentel Films. The link is in the description. Let's have a listen. Let's double the melody on the cellista to make it sparkle. Expressive counterpoint on the solo bassoon. The 
flute and harp continue their accompaniment and the bass clarinet is removed to make way for the solo oboe. That's it for the woodwinds as a chamber music ensemble. Now let's see how woodwinds can add some color to a string arrangement. But for that we need strings and... Oh dear. You know, it's been a few videos now. There's an instrument chasing me that I use every time. It's behind me, isn't it? The first violins continue the oboe melody. An expressive contrapoint on the violas. The second violins, duality and dimension strings fill out the harmony, while the cellos and the basses open up the tonal scope. So now, let's bring in some woodwinds. I'll be using BBO Orion. Please welcome Big Bang Orchestra, Neptune and Orion. Orion. And take a look at some very common doublings. First, the violin and flutes. By the way, I'm leaving some synchron woodwind solo flutes with BBO Orion, Orion, to bring clarity to the timber. violas and clarinets. Cello and bassoon. double reeds to fill out the harmony and add a little rhythm. Now let's compare without the woodwinds with the woodwinds. Do you realize how much brighter and emotional it has become? Woodwinds really are that secret ingredient for improving any string arrangement. But not only that, Woodwinds are also great at creating special effects and textures and making your arrangement more exciting and vibrant. Let's start with the English horn from Synchron Woodwinds. Remember when I was telling you about the importance of articulation and tonguing? Well, this is where it's gonna be of crucial importance. Let's stick with the double reeds and use a handy patch. In synchronized single woodwinds, the flute, oboe, clarinet and bassoon ensembles come with pre-recorded clusters. <laughs> the lowest instrument in the whole orchestra. 
Yeah, yeah. Lower than the double bass, the contrabassoon gets its own solo, menacing and dark. Let's make it even darker by adding saturation. You know, like Jimi Hendrix with a contrabassoon. Another solo from an extraordinary instrument. Did you know that the oboe had a big brother? I'm not talking about the bassoon or the English horn, no. I'm talking about the hecklephone, literally a bass oboe, available amongst others in synchronized single woodwinds. <laughs> Last solo, and a little riddle. Do you know which instrument it is? Sounds like a clarinet, doesn't it? Or an oboe? <laughs> Not at all. It's the soprano saxophone from synchronized saxophones. Saxophones are the missing link between woodwind and brass in the symphonic orchestra. Now that we've got our solos, let's dress them up, so to speak. We'll add textures and effects. First, two flutes doing parallel flutter tongue and trills, ideal for a tense, enigmatic ambience. <laughs> For even more tension, let's put a run using BBO Solaris. <laughs> Let's finish off this run with a cluster that we'll be playing ourselves using BBO Neptune. Some strings, cello sul ponticello from Synchron Duality Strings Colors. dissonant high string textures from Synchron FX Strings 1. A really interesting thing that I discovered while making this video and that nobody talks about, the humanized function of the edit section of the Synchron player. You can choose whether your Synchron instrument plays in tune or not. It's a very comprehensive and a very rich area to explore. Let's look at one last aspect of the woodwinds instrument, ancient music. Yes, Vienna Symphonic Library also sampled instruments from the Baroque period. Traversal flute, Baroque oboe, chrome horns, recorder, serpent, and so on. Which can be found in the synchronized historic winds package. Let's take a look. I give the main theme to the traversal flute. The soprano and alto recorder recalls the motif of the flute accompaniment at the beginning. Mm -hmm. 
an excellent alternative to contrabassoon or contrabass clarinet bass crim horns offer a very nasal, eerie timbre that has its place in modern film music. Just listen. To top it all off, let's add some high strings from Hello Free Celestial Strings, which, as the name suggests, is free! Isn't it great? And to conclude, let's add a bit of menacing bass with low string clusters, once again from Synchron FX Strings 1. And that's all for me, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I wish you the best for this year 2024, the best of luck, of success, of opportunities, and also, most importantly, of health. And as for me, as you can see, I know it looks quite unbelievable, but here in Spain, there's snow. See you for the next one, and keep doing great music. Bye.